Well, hey, book lovers, I am here on a chocolate factory tour because we are celebrating the release of Sugar Coated, my young adult retelling of Hansel and Gretel and their witch who might not actually be a villain. Now, if you want to learn more about the book, you got to go over and get your copy. But if you want to learn all about how chocolate is made and maybe just how long it can actually take to build a house out of chocolate, stay tuned because we are going to be taking a tour of book of origins. Okay, so how long have you been in the chocolate and the coffee games? I know you do a lot here. We've seen a lot of this today as we went through our tour. But how long have you actually been someone who is creating all this amazing stuff that I know you guys love? I know you love that. You're obsessed with that. So how long have you been in this game? That, so we started making uh, chocolate and coffee in really small batches. I actually started roasting coffee in my shed a, a couple miles from here. And um, it was really just a test of the produce that we were bringing back from from West Africa to see if it was really viable, was it really a good quality uh, product. Uh, and it was, and so we took it a step further, I kind of got a bigger shed, so to speak, in a barn that we restored into a beautiful chocolate coffee workshop. And that's been about uh, two and a half years. We've been really commercially available since January of 2017, so just under two years. I know you've got a lot of products that you offer, aside from just the chocolate bars and the coffee, I know. This is actually pretty interesting. I saw behind the scenes when you first walked in that you've got some interesting news and you are working on creating your own version of this. And I hear it's not like pure sugar, is that right? That's correct. Right. <laughs> it's very sweet. Uh, this is cocoa juice. So cocoa is a fruit and it grows on the tree. And so I was thinking of it as like kind of a health food. You should feel good about eating the quality chocolate. Um, and so when you cut, you like cut open a cocoa pot, there's this white fruit that surrounds the bean. And that, that fruit is important to help ferment the beans, which we then use to make chocolate, but that fruit can also be captured and, and consumed. And so this company is doing a really good job at that. Um, what we do is then take the cocoa beans and we make a tea out of it. So we extract the cocoa nib, which we make chocolate with, and then we take the husk and make a tea out of that. And that's becoming really popular. It's a really antioxidant rich uh, uh, tea. And you guys are really good about using everything. You don't do a lot of waste, right? We are pretty much zero waste and that goes from that cocoa bean you know, scenario or example of using the house and the nib, um, but also like our waste management as far as uh, trash and things like that. We do a painstaking job of sorting everything and we actually have companies now buying and utilizing all of our um, waste, which is pretty minimal, but now it goes to a lot of different uses. So. And you do most things by hand here, right? You've got people on all of your different stations, you don't use of, you know, machinery to kind of pour your job and do all these things. So. It's, it's true, yeah. And there's a lot of easier ways to make chocolate, but they're very expensive. And that's why there's so few small bean to bar chocolate companies in, in America. It's a few hundred now. And you have to really be innovative and, and kind of creative. We find that really fun. So, like using a coffee roaster to roast the, the cacao, um, building our own crushing and deshelling machine. Uh, different processes like that. A lot of hand work as far as sorting and just making sure the quality is completely you know, elevated at every step. Okay, so I need to switch gears just a little bit. I want to know specifically about your chocolate. For my fans who absolutely adore their chocolate addictions, what should you be looking for in the chocolate bar? Well, first of all, you should just like it. And so there's a lot of health food you know, out there, and which is fine and good. But when it comes to chocolate, you know, make sure it's something you enjoy eating. But as far as the products and the ingredients, there's kind of two ways to look at it. One is, um, is it is it clean, simple ingredients? Um, and then the other question is, are they ethically sourced and you know transparently traded? And we try to play into all three of those. So really, the tasty chocolate with you know two to three ingredients that's you know organic cocoa, um, sugar, and sometimes added organic cocoa butter, and then um, making sure that the Farmers or partners we're working with to source those beans are paying fair trade or above fair trade prices for those beans. So when you're looking at an ingredient list, you know it shouldn't be like microscopic and a mile long. It should really probably say cocoa beans and sugar and maybe um, you know vanilla or some flavoring if that's what you're going for. Okay, so let's switch gears just a little bit more. I want to talk about the process of actually. Chocolate. So I know that we got to see a lot today on tour. Can you kind of give us a condensed version of what it takes to create this chocolate? 
Absolutely. So that's really fun for us because we've had to kind of learn as we go, tapping the knowledge that we're going to share it uh, to learn how to go from beef to bar. And so it's about a 15 day process where we first start by bringing in the cocoa beans, we hand sort out all kinds of things that you don't want in your chocolate, things that will come over from the farm, stones and like sticks and things like that. And then we roast the beans, crush them, and then we use a stone grinder for about three to four days, turning that cocoa bean into a, you know, into a liquid form. And uh, from there, then we let it set for between 10 and 15 days again, let it bleach. And then we melt it back down and, and make chocolate bars. After we pour the chocolate into our molds, then we cool it off, they set, and then we hand wrap with foil and paper before we put them on our website and share them with the world. That's fantastic. Okay. So let's just assume that Gretel's wish was going to build a house out of chocolate. Uh, how much chocolate would that take? Do you have any idea? It would take a, a few farms worth. <laughs> uh, we might have it in the back aging. So if uh, you're hey. pursuing, I'm yes. back, but uh, it would take quite a bit of chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Do you know what it would be like, you know, an overnight process or does it take me a couple days? Yeah, or? it would take us a few months to make your chocolate. So this year. Uh, I'm gonna get it in before Christmas. Exactly. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it. Okay, what is your all-time favorite part of creating chocolate? Getting to take that bar back to the farmer and eat with them. That's been really fun for my family and I, especially um, my, my wife and my four-year-old to go to communities where there's no running water, there's no electricity. They're growing something that they have no idea what it will ultimately be. And there's a huge disconnect between that bee and that product and not having the chance to consume it, I think is I'm kind of criminal. So getting to experience that with them is really fun. Um, but you know, more of like, you know, me as a consumer, I just really like enjoying things that we've taken a long time to create and chocolate is one of those like um, perfect uh, pairings. So that's amazing. Thank you so much for having me here today. I really yeah. appreciate it. Any um, last words to our fans? I would say uh, just keep consuming chocolate and do it in a way that makes you feel really good about the ingredients that you're eating and try to get to the bottom of where they came from because it means the world of difference to a lot of people. So, thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you so much for having us. I do appreciate it. I cannot wait to come back. Guys, if you want more information, where can I find you? MochaOrigins.com. We do a free tour every Saturday from 10 uh, at 10 to 2 and it's also a tasting. So. You can like eat your heart out on chocolate and coffee, and then our Facebook and Instagram pages as well. And hey, if you come to my tour, let me know. I'll come hang out, we'll bring the book, we'll take some photos, we'll get some free chocolate. Because, yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. Make sure you come visit me, KMRobinsonBooks.com, and at KMRobinsonBooks on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, IGTV, and all those fabulous social media platforms. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. But if you have questions from Jeff all about mocha and the amazing chocolate here, I can drop some comments below. I'll come back and get your questions answered. And cannot wait to hear from you. Until next time, stay inspired.